everything new under the sun. Well, this is a look at how to, uh, sort of a how to, uh, install the uh, MagSafe board. And this is a MacBook uh, 2012, a 2012 MacBook uh, 13 inch. So I bought, bought this uh, MagSafe board off eBay. I think it was about $11 or something like that, free shipping. Uh, it's pretty cheap, and uh, why do you get it? Well, if your uh, MagSafe uh, adapter uh, doesn't work anymore, or you think it's broken or whatever, burned out. Um, I was trying to pry it out from under the board. Um, you eventually learn that you actually have to uh, remove the board, and so that's what I started doing here. Now, my particular issue was that my battery was not charging, and obviously that's why, that's why you would uh, replace the MagSafe board, because your battery's not charging. Um, that's the only issue, though. It does power my, my MacBook. Um, and it shows plugged in on my MacBook when it's uh, booted up, but it doesn't actually charge the battery. So, um, and this motherboard has had issues before. There's been uh, lots of, uh, you know, dead bugs on it or whatever. So what you have to do basically is uh, pry up all the uh, connectors for the hard drive, for the fan, um, temperature sensors, all of it. There's, there's uh, connectors all around it. Just lightly pry them up with a uh, spudger or whatever you got there. I, ha I just have a, a flathead screwdriver. There's a couple of uh, ribbons there. And there's probably about uh, 8 or eight or 10 or 12 uh, little screws as well that you have to pull out. And then the whole motherboard comes out. and uh, So you don't have to worry about um, heat sink on the CPU though because it's still attached uh, underneath. So that's the tricky part. Now at this point there is a wire that goes I think to the speaker. And it's kind of wrapped around tightly that kind of prevents it from coming flipping right ups but once you uh, loose the under the wire there just go slow with it and you look around it you'll see the wires that are connected now um, the board itself is just uh, has one connector on it and I've got the new connector there and so I show them side by side it's exactly the same thing anyway so you just basically plug in um, the connector for the MagSafe board and reverse the operation it's a bit tricky to get it back in there because then you have to wrap that long uh, uh, speaker uh, wire all around it again um, and that's what I was doing here um, it's all pretty safe make sure you're grounded um, and uh, while you're in there blow out that uh, the heat sink as well so that's what I was doing there just blowing it out a little bit to get the dust out of there good time to do it um, you don't want to do it again so when you're putting it back in uh, you gotta make sure to uh, pull out all your cables because they get kinda get caught underneath so that's what I was doing uh, with the uh, flathead there just uh, getting them out uh, onto the top and uh, then once they're down you can put a couple screws in and then start putting the connectors back in the ribbon cables are the hardest for the ribbon cables um, there's a little latch that you at the uh, opposite side of where the ribbon goes in you pull up that latch and that releases the ribbon and so if you want to put the ribbon back in uh, the hole uh, the, the ribbons are right there right beside the the memory um, you you open that up uh, slide the ribbon in and uh, it'll just go in real easy um, shouldn't be hard at all and then you uh, click down um, the, the kind of cl clamp on the back side and that just locks the ribbon cable in um, so put in your fan uh, make sure the fans all connected and everything's going at this point in time once you get everything kind of plugged in you can actually plug in uh, the power source and just make sure that the fan lights up and all that good stuff that's a good check and then basically uh, Put all your screws in, make a double check, uh, press each of your connector connections down again, make sure it's nice and tight and uh, snug in there. And that's all I'm uh, doing at this point. Now the, the sum up of this, um, when I finished this, uh, was that it still wasn't charging. So I have something on my motherboard that is basically not uh, switching uh, you know, the 17 volts to, or 16 volts, whatever it is, to the battery so this didn't actually solve my issue um, but I just want to give you the brief overview of uh, how to actually get the MagSafe um, board in there it's not hard at all and in the 2012 uh, MacBook this, like I said this is a 13 inch it's honestly it's very straightforward because you don't have to take the CPU heat sink off or anything do anything crazy like that it's uh, unfortunate that, th that they put the connector for the board on the bottom of the motherboard because otherwise you could take the, the, the back off your MacBook um, and uh, just unscrew the, the MagSafe adapter and uh, without taking the motherboard out. Um, unfortunately, it's, there, it, looks, it seems like there's enough room to get the MagSafe board out, um, but uh, here's where I'm testing it to see if it actually boots up before I put the lid back on. 
Um, but it, it almost looks like there's enough space to get the board out, but there's not. So you do got to take the whole motherboard out to get it. So like I said here, I was just checking that the fan was happening and that, uh, that the battery was charging. I knew it wasn't because you can see the light on the, uh, on the power adapter. So I gave up at this point, but regardless, uh, this video is more about just to add, uh, that it's fairly straightforward to put the MagSafe board in yourself as long as you don't mind getting your, your, your fingers a little bit dirty, uh, putting some elbow grease into it. And uh, this took uh, this whole thing took well, probably probably 40 minutes or something to to do it all. Uh, take your time, do it properly, and uh, hopefully all will be good. I will leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Okay.